weekend, the ultimate fan event for all the things you are obsessed with returns to the Rose City. From sci-fi to fantasy, Fan Expo Portland kicks off this Friday at the Oregon Convention Center. You will find all kinds of talented creators showing off their work. That includes local comic book writers and artists like John Burkett. He joins us now with a preview of the ultimate fan experience. Good morning. Well, hello. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for inviting me. Glad we were, you're here. We were just browsing <laughs> yeah. through some of your comic books. These are fantastic designs. Tell us a little bit about your background and, and how you got into comic illustration. Sure. Well, um, I've always enjoyed art and drawing, and I've always enjoyed comic books. And um, in the early days of 2020, when I found myself a little extra time on my hands because uh -huh. of the lockdown, I thought, well, maybe it's time to give it a go and really see if I can do this. I met a supportive group through Facebook. We started collaborating. That's where I met the, or, uh, the writer for Ghost Agents, mm -hmm. Rocco Jerome. And he said, hey, do you want to draw some stories for me? And we started collaborating. And I was on my way. How so cool, cool is that? So when, when somebody takes a look at this, I mean, we, we, when you talk about a, what a comic book really is, yes, there's the art, which is absolutely stunning, but the storytelling is just phenomenal in this. What's it been like to work on this project? Oh, it's been great. And Rocco, um, he has a philosophy where he will ask the artists what they like to draw. Cool. Mm. And then kind of let us go wild. And that's kind of the, the idea behind Ghost Agents is it's a very art forward book. Mm -hmm. We try to make it very poppy, punchy, psychedelic. Um, Ghost stands for the global hierarchy of uh, secret tactics. Yeah. So it's about a, a group of agents that sort of vanquish the uh, the evils of the, the world across space and time. Oh my I gosh, mean, so look cool. at some I'm, of this. And I'm looking at some of these illustrations. It is very kind of psychedelic. And you do have to kind of, there's so there's so much detail to take in. You kind of have to pour over a page. You just really like do. You, would be, you know, reading a page of text. There's just, there's so much to the story visually as well. Yeah, and I should say this is a collaboration between, there's over 20 artists on these books. Uh -huh. um, Rocco's the only writer. And uh, so we all kind of have to work together to create this sort of pastiche of this ghost agent's world. Oh, so, cool. But you can read it in short little segments. It's uh, anthology style, so. Yeah. So, so the nice. Fan Expo, you, you have so many like-minded people coming together. It's not just about comic books at the Fan Expo either. It, it really has, has quite the scope of, mm -hmm. of different facets that, that people can, can come in and check out. What does the Fan Expo do for, for artists like yourself and creators like yourself? Sure, so I will be set up in the artist alley. There's a comic creator section. I'll be there with my, my friends and colleagues from Helioscope, which is the, the largest comic book art studio in North America. Mm -hmm. wow. um, I think there's going to be about 12 of us there. Um, and we'll be setting up tables. I've kind of had a little sample of what our Artist Alley table is going to look like here with the books. Um, so I'll be selling books. I'll be selling uh, original artwork. Mm -hmm. So I have a little Yeah, show, show here. the people what you got sure. here, yeah. a portfolio here. Um, but other artists will be selling limited edition prints. They'll be selling... Um, posters. Oh, that's so cool. There'll be vendors with all kinds of you know, stickers and tchotchkes and anything yeah. that's uh, fan fan related, fan culture related. So. It it's, is, it's really neat. It's just, it's such a cool uh, opportunity to actually go and, and, and sit down with the creators behind some of your favorite right. comic books, TV series, movies, novels. I mean, and, and I, I say this as someone who has gone to fan expos, gone to these expos and loves it. It is, it is nerd heaven. It is, it is nerd <laughs> utopia. Like, I, I love it. It's everything that you've ever enjoyed in entertainment. Um, what's it like for you as a creator to get to meet some of the fans and, and and have that face-to-face -face time. Oh, it's nice. I mean, it's always great to see the enthous enthusiasm and it kind of, it's what fuels me, fuels mm -hmm. my creativity. It's like, oh, I know there's some out there that my work is speaking to, my art is speaking to. Um, it just makes it that much easier when I'm all alone in the studio, you know, making my artwork, that there's somebody out there who it's going to speak to, so. Yeah. That's true. You didn't, didn't really think about that, where, I mean, you're creating this. Yeah, you this out in the world. Yeah, you're creating this kind of on goes. your own, and then yeah. you got a, the chance to actually interact with people. So it's, it's a good point. Well, John, you are wildly talented. Uh, yeah. Excited for the Fan Expo. Really is going to be a great time. Appreciate your time here. Yeah, well, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, glad you were here. And again, if you want to check out the Fan Expo Portland, it kicks off Friday, runs through Sunday at the Oregon Convention Center. So for tickets at Info, go to fanexpohq.com. And by the way, when we say nerds, we mean that very endearingly. We're both very much nerds I, I was on this say, show. Make no mistake, I am one <laughs> of them. We are nerds. I, I, I should have showed pictures. I could show pictures from the last time I was at one of the expos dressed up as Alice in Wonderland. It was really, yeah. it was a good time. We'll it's have to so bring fun. that back. The costume watching alone is, is <laughs> worth going. Uh, it is a